Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing. Hello and happy Halloween. So today I thought I would review some of my old Halloween costumes or something. So most years I'm pretty excited to dress up and stuff, but this year was not one of those years. And for that reason, I thought it would be fun to look back on years when perhaps I was a little bit better at putting some effort into things. So actually this year I wasn't meant to dress up at all, but I did end up doing something last minute or last 30 minute, if you will. And I dressed up as a cat yesterday. Now I'm gonna be rating these outfits um, with little orange man heads out of five. Um, for this costume, I would actually give, I think, three. Uh, I mean, a cat is, no offense to anyone, a pretty lame thing to dress up as. But I was pretty proud of how I did my makeup here, so I think for literally deciding 30 minutes before that I was going to dress up as anything, I did a pretty good job. But the next costume that I'm going to be reviewing is my kind of corpse variety costume. I... another three, I think. Or four. I think I'd give this one a four. Because I actually did go out and purchase a new dress for the outfit. And I did buy those flowers, I think. I mean, usually I try not to buy too much stuff when I like make my own costumes, which is always. <laughs> um, I like how I did my makeup. I think it was, it wasn't anything really specific. I didn't really go all out Corpse Bride. It was more just Corpse Bride inspired. It was a bit of last minute, but I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, the next costume I'm going to be reviewing is my Alice costume. This was in 2011. It's a little bit Alice in Wonderland, but it was also quite inspired by this video game Alice, which I actually haven't played at all, but my boyfriend um, had the game on his Xbox gaming shelf and I think we weren't even officially dating. I think that night is when we started officially dating And perhaps it was because I decided to recreate one of his favorite characters. I don't know. It was a little bit of a um, Sucking up to him kind of costume, but I think it turned out pretty good. I think I have to give this one also four pumpkin heads I think the next costume is the bumblebee. This, I think, on the scale of my costumes, not in the scale of costumes around the world, but in the scale of costumes, I have to give myself a five on this. This was all just like bought from H&M and stuff, just bits and pieces, and well, except for the thingies and the wings and also that night I had those were like ridiculous eyelashes I remember it was a really windy day and they were actually like fluttering off of my eyes okay and then this costume um can't quite remember what year this was but uh me and my boyfriend dressed up as splices Sp splicers is that what they're called we dressed up as Splicers from the game Bioshock. And this one also I think I have to give five little orange man heads. I spent about a week before Halloween making the masks and they didn't turn out exactly perfect and they weren't super comfortable but I think they turned out pretty amazing for never having done that before. and. Yeah, I actually should have had that mask in the shop right now because that would have looked festive. More festive than a failed avocado experiment. I don't know, it's kind of like science-y. I was Minnie Mouse.
cut out in the front is a little risque. I think this one is another five. I think my boots are pretty good. I went out and got the gloves. I had little black hair nets around my hair and put it into buns. And I think it was pretty cute Minnie Mouse. I mean, it just looked like a person dressed as Minnie Mouse, but still. Oh, that's a little bit of a risque Minnie Mouse move there. Definitely wasn't in character that night. I do have this one from seventh grade, which is when I dressed up as a cow. I think I put quite a bit of effort into that. And I just ended up stapling like black paper to myself. You know, I made those horns, the udder. I actually blew up a glove and painted it pink. And I remember I had to go to like the art department at school and you know, I put quite a lot of effort into this. So it definitely gets five orange heads for effort. I actually remember some boys making fun of me in class. Like, I didn't really think of the udders as anything dirty. And then I just remember people being like, oh, you have boobs, your boobs are out. Like, <laughs> but what did bother me was when, like, after first period already, the glove popped. And then basically I just had this gross little udder back wrinkly. Anyways, that's my little themed video for today. Thank you for watching. Um, hit the thumbs up if you liked it and, you know, make him happy. Will you focus on him? Yeah. He is happy. If you don't like it, then he'll be sad. Bye. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond.